Hello everyone, I hope you're all fine and well. So today is Saturday and we are off to the Lush event to see Cowspiracy and then we're going to be making the big blue bath bomb. I am here with Chloe but I'm not going to video her because I don't know how she feels about being filmed but she's having a lovely hot chocolate. <laughs> we've got like half an hour to kill so then we're going to go after we've had this hot break. It's gonna be okay. Fun. We've arrived in Exeter in Lush Shop, so we're just waiting for the film to start now on the lovely little projector screen. I could quite happily just sit here all day because it just smells so nice. <laughs> and then we get to make big glue afterwards, so I won't film all of the film obviously, but I'll give you some sneak peeks and then I'll film the back filming session afterwards. Cool. Maybe give you a little bit of a look. Like, whiz around the Lush Exeter shop. So you have all of the soaps and stuff just in the middle here. And then like the bath bombs and stuff are just behind me that way. And we're coming to our uh, first ever Lush Exeter cinema. <laughs> The idea is, is that we show films that um, are reflective of our own values as a brand. Um, so having deep environmental values as Lush and how we buy our ingredients and how we treat the planet as, our, as a co big company, as a global company, is really important to us. Um, and so hopefully in the future this can become a regular event where we show documentaries that really do inspire us and encompass that as well. Um, so our planet is in critical peril, so global warming, uh, the ice caps melting, mass poverty um, and the mass clearing of forests um, for animal agriculture. And these forests and these trees, these are the, the lungs of our planet, so it's really imperative that we treat them with respect and this is essentially what Cowspiracy is going to be talking about. Um, so, Cowspiracy was originally a crowdfunded uh, documentary and it raised 217% of its original aim because people really wanted to see this documentary be made. Um, and in my opinion, it's this decade's most influential and strongest argument for the need for the Western society to change our views on what we eat. Um, so. The unveiling of, of this issue of animal agriculture and the detriment it has to the planet, this is something that's not spoken about and Kip Anderson, who is the director, really does talk about that in detail in this film. Um, so that hopefully together um, we can strive to promote a better future for our planet by becoming aware of this issue um, and create a healthier planet for us and our fellow sentient animal beings. Um, so I really hope that you enjoy the film, um, and I hope that it inspires yeah, you. In a recent 2009 World Watch report, livestock causes 51% of all greenhouse emission, gas emissions. Yeah, well, um, it is a big issue, and we uh, need to address that as well. But, you know, there's just so many different potential sources of <clears throat> methane and carbon emissions. If the number one leading cause is animal agriculture and meat consumption, then it does not need to be the number one focus, if not the number two. Well, that's your assessment. Our assessment is different. <laughs> that was specific. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just about to go and make the bath bombs. I did not realize how much pollution went into agriculture. It's like 51% is agricultural pollution. So that film was really, really good and I recommend it yeah. highly. It's such a good documentary. Sometimes if you blow it, it's also made with fresh French lavender oil and some lemon oil as well. It's a really nice calming bath bomb. Um, and so it's made up of two parts. So you've got the citric acid in there, which will make it fizz and sodium bicarb. 
And then we've got the essential oils and the colour as well. And there's, you see these, all these little bits of seaweed which actually turn really kind of almost jelly-like in the bath. Mm -hmm. So it's really softening on the skin. So a tip as well, if you are if it's got to sea salt in it, it probably has shave a... your legs or anything in the bath, if you use this, it's really good because it kind of opens up the like, mm. pull, well, like the hair. Does it prevent me roots. from shredding my legs though? <laughs> <laughs> which I always do. Oh, be careful. <laughs> What's shaving? <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do, we have the moulds just here, and these are the, the same moulds that are actually used in the factory, and um, this is the top part, the part that says lush on the top, and you're going to put a little bit of the white section in here, which our dear friend has just mixed for us, thank you very much, that goes in the top, and then you're going to pack some blue on the top, some blue on the bottom, and then we're going to smush it together, okay? this evening so I'm gonna go and get some sleep now but I will see you all again